in case you haven't seen it yet, Ink Stitch version 3.0.0 just released a few days ago. There is a minor bug in the Linux version, possibly in the Windows in Windows version too. I saw one complaint so far. The bug the bug is being worked on and being fixed, and I have a testing version that is working. So they know about it, they're working on it, and a version 3.0.1 should be released pretty soon to fix that little bug. I'll show you that bug shortly. Otherwise, version 3.0.0 has been released. Go to inkstitch.org. Click install inkstitch. Whatever operating system you're on, Linux, Mac, and Windows, you can click that. In my case would be Linux. Uh, I'm running a virtual machine right at the moment to show you that bug because I have the fixed version on my actual install. So on this particular version, this is Kubuntu, a .deb system. I would download the .deb package, which I did. I'm gonna show you that in a minute. Uh, OpenSUSE, PC Linux OS, and pretty sure PC Linux OS is RPM. Uh, Fedora RPM packages, installer script if you're running something like an Arch, Monjero, something that doesn't have Deb or RPM, either one, you would go for that one. And there's also the tar.z.xz and your install instructions there. You would uh, extract it into the tar.xz you extract it into the Inkscape extensions folder and it should work just fine. That's how we used to have to do it no matter what system you were on before they added an installer script. And that's basically all it does is unpack and move that folder into the Inkscape extensions. So to show you the little bug, I'm going to hit close on this. Everything on this works. If you draw out a simple line, Oh, I don't have any tools up here. That's discombobulating. Uh, fill and stroke. No fill. Give me a stroke of a little bit. And I need a black line so I can see it. There's my black line. Everything seems to work except for the one thing that doesn't. Tools, convert line to satin. Interesting. Maybe not. I did that right. No fill. Stroke. Black. Full opacity. Stroke style. Let me try it again. Maybe there's more, more bugs than I thought. Okay, there it worked. I something in the something in the uh Stroke style wasn't right. Stroke paint. Something in the stroke paint wasn't right. So it does work. Everything but the one thing. Show you that one thing just a second. Is your params, satin column, or an E stitch. It's all there. Okay, so to show you the one thing that doesn't work, if you get this error, if I'm gonna go to ink stitch lettering. No, the output from the extension could not be parsed. I do have a bug report. I'll show you that bug report in a minute, and I'll show you where to get the fix if you're on a Linux system. It may work on a Windows system also if you're having the same problem. So hit OK. I'm going to close this out. I'm going to kill this VM. And now I'm actually in my system. Now, Inkscape. Now I can show you in, in my version. If I go to extensions, Ink Stitch About, it does not say 3.0.0. Because this is just a will this work build. So they didn't need to properly assign it. 
this is more or less a development. And I was running development version before and playing around with it, and I didn't have the same problem that I have with the now released version, or I would have nipped it in the bud and tried to stop them before they released it. But this is called try and error, and my extensions ink stitch lettering tool does work. So they are on top of it, they know about it, they're working on fixing it, they're making sure the fix is good. And everything does work. Boom. And there you go. So it does work. Uh, in this you have all of the new stuff that I showed in another video and I'll put that wherever it's at right up above. I'll put a link to that right up above, but you have a, a lot of nice nice things duplicate params select embroidery element elements selection to guidelines selection to pattern the font and lettering stuff is what we what we had before lettering along path you now have a ink stitch command to you can draw a curve and you can set your ink stitch lettering to that curve very cool um Params, there's a lot of things in params now that weren't there before. And I'll show you some of them on this satin column method, satin column, e stitch, that was there before, maximum stitch length, that was there before, short stitch inset, all that was there before. You can reverse rails in the params. So if you get that Linux bug, or no, if you get that Mac bug to where the the rails are switched going in different directions from each other and it makes that circular satin stitch right here in the params for that you can reverse the rails reverse first rail reverse second rail you can reverse both rails if your column runs this way and you run it want it to run this way reverse both rails how cool is that swap rails um, that is the same command as, uh, I can't remember. I'm going to have to look it up. Extensions, ink stitch, satin tools, clip satin column rails. That is what that is. I don't know why I couldn't think of that. Rams, back to params. Let's look at a few more. Swap rails, allow lock stitches. This is, you've seen me use this a lot. If you've watched my videos, force lock stitches, I guess the default is on, or at least it is on for this particular uh, satin lettering. You can tack stitch, you can set tack stitch, half stitch, arrow, back and forth, triangle, all kinds of neat stuff in here. All kinds. This is so cool. Stop after. This is, the stop after is, the same as adding a command or attaching command to selected object to stop after it stitches this object. Useful if you're doing appliques and such like that. You can you can do trim after. It's the same as attach command trim. You can now do that in the params. How cool is that? Uh, all kinds of neat stuff in here. You can do a random jitter. You can do random zigzag spacing percentage so that it's different all the way through the column. Uh, random percentage of satin width increase. You can make your satin column do that. All kinds of awesome things. And that's, I'm not going to cover everything. I am going to show you real quick the, uh, I'm going to show you real quick that uh, where I, posted the issue right here and I'll I'll put this link in the description of the video for you but uh, so this is where I reported it and I started Inkscape in command line so that I could get the error print out did that and this is the test version if you're on Linux and it's not working for you Grab this release right here, this Kali try and error. There are the RPMs, the .deb, the zip, the Windows ex executable. 
the OSX package Mac for Mac. So as far as I can tell, all of the builds are in this test. So if if you're getting something similar to the same problem I was getting on the lettering tool, grab one of these and see if it works. Whichever one you need. Otherwise, just jump on inkstitch.org, download it, have fun with it. Brand new release. Lots and lots of stuff in there that you're going to have to get used to again. And I will be making videos on some of those that are more in-depth and more specific. I will be making videos on those, so make sure you subscribe so that you know that whenever I release one of those, it's there. You can watch it. But that's it for this video. Nice, short, and sweet. And uh, as always, thanks for watching.